Hi everyone, Phil from statisticsmentor.com here. In this video we'll be looking at the relationship between the standard normal distribution and the chi-square distribution. The central result is this. Say that we have z1, z2 to zn where each of them are independent standard normal variables, i.e. they are normal the distributed with mean of 0 and the variance of 1. Then if we square each term and add them up, then the new that creates a new variable, which is follows a chi-square distribution with n degrees of freedom. So th things to note, each of these variables, they are squared, added together, and the variables are independent, so that forms a new variable, and that new variable has a different distribution, it's no longer it's not normal like it each of the z's that new variable follows a chi-square degree of freedom with n degrees of freedom that n corresponds to the number of these z variables you've added together loosely in short we can say the sum of squared normals is chi-square Let's look at an example. X, Y, S, they're all normally distributed. Suppose furthermore that they're all independent. All independent of one another. Y, S, independent. So the outcome of X does not depend on Y vice versa, x and s don't depend on each other, y and s don't depend on each other. Then, if we take x squared, we create a new variable, x squared, that variable will be chi square with one degree of freedom, because there's only one term here. Say I take x square, y square, and add them and square them and add them together. Since they're x and y independent, what we've just seen is that this is also going to be chi square, number of degree of freedom. Well, there's two terms, x and y, so that's two. And how about if we do it for all three? x squared plus y squared plus s squared each term standard normal, well each x, y is s a standard normal, you squared each one their x, y, s are independent therefore it's going to be chi square degree of freedom 1, 2, 3. Okay. Just to recap, this is what a normal distribution looks like, it's symmetrical around the mean how about the, and it takes the value from minus infinity to plus infinity on this axis here Okay mean of zero say that's for z, z distribution that's for z standard normal chi square looks like this look it is more but it's positively skewed it's got a minimum value of zero so anything this could be y or it could it could be x could be y it could be s it goes up squared sorry that's chi squared that's this is a chi squared distribution Okay, now let's turn to one of the uh, exercises on the website. Consider the independent standard normal variables z, i, standard normal, mean normal distributed mean of 0 and variance 1, and the n of these z, i's. State the distribution of a z1 squared plus z2 squared. Well, each of these z's, they are standard normal. We've told that they're independent, the z's. So we've just know that since we're squaring these standard normals and add them together and that the z's are independent, this is going to be chi-square. How many degree of freedom? Two. Okay, next one. I have a z 
5 squared plus z 10 squared plus z say 50 squared what's the distribution of that okay it's going to be chi square 3 now why did I put that in because it's look simple well what I found is that uh, some people will get conf be confused by the subscripts here they'll look down here and go well isn't it a chi square 50 or a chi square yes 10 or a chi square you know they get muddled up by these subscripts just note that these subscripts are just labeling are just labels for each of the z's so they don't really mean anything. Instead of 5, 10, 50, I could put A, B, C. They are labels. Okay, so we count the number of terms added together. 1, 2, 3. That is it. Why is this a chi-square 3? It's not like 5, 10, 50, so 50. Okay. Right. Um, so some of these subscripts for the other uh, the relationship between other variables that comes uh, that becomes more serious later on. But mm, here it's uh, straight. Here it's just straightforward. Okay. In the next video, we'll consider this question two a, which is a bit more tougher. So um, if you're interested, if it's relevant to your course, have a look. Oh, bang on time! Somebody's waiting for me at the door.